An unarmed Trident II D-5 missile was launched from the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine USS Wyoming SSBN-742 off the coast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. This was part of Demonstration and Shakedown Operation DASO-31. The launch was part of the U.S. Navy Strategic Systems Program's DASO certification process. The main goal of DASO is to evaluate and demonstrate the readiness of the SSBN's Strategic Weapon System SWS, and crew before operational deployment following the submarine's engineered refueling overhaul. This launch marks 184 successful missile test flights of the Trident II D-5 submarine launch ballistic missile SLBM. Vice Admiral Johnny R. Wolf, director of the Navy's Strategic Systems Program, stated, Today's September 17 test demonstrates the unmatched reliability of our sea-based nuclear deterrent, which is made possible by a dedicated team of military, civilian, and industry partners who bring expertise and dedication to the mission that's truly extraordinary. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia and China have reasons to be afraid of Trident D-5 missile-armed Ohio-class submarines of the U.S. Navy. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century, fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system, placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real-time, often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. SLBM-armed Ohio SSBN is the sea-based leg of the nation's strategic nuclear deterrent triad that also includes the U.S. Air Force's intercontinental ballistic missiles. ICBM, and nuclear-capable bombers. Ohio-class is the most survivable leg of the triad and the ultimate nuclear deterrence. The logic of nuclear deterrence is like this. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean and it's almost impossible to take them all out in a first strike. So, ballistic missile submarines deter any enemy from launching a preemptive first strike. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. These have a length of 560 feet or 170 meters and have a speed of around 20 to 25 knots. Being nuclear powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. Each Ohio class has two crews of 154 officers and enlisted personnel, designated gold and blue, who take turns departing on patrols that last an average of 70 to 90 days underwater with the longest on record being 140 days by the USS Pennsylvania. 
An average of a month is spent between patrols with resupply facilitated by three large diameter supply hatches. The submarines of this class have multiple sensors. The surface search, navigation and fire control radar is BPS-15A I and J band radar. The sonar suite includes IBM BQQ-6 passive search sonar, Raytheon BQS-13, BQS-15 active and passive high frequency sonar, BQR-15 passive towed array from Western Electric and the active BQR-19 navigation sonar from Raytheon. Colmorgan Type 152 and Type 82 periscopes are fitted. Ohio class submarines also come armed with four 21 inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles. It has 650 pound or 290 kilogram high explosive warhead. However, these are intended primarily for self defense. A ballistic missile submarine's job isn't to hunt enemy ships and submarines, but to lie as low and quiet as possible to deny rivals any means of tracking their movements. The first eight Ohio class boats were originally built to launch the Trident 1 C 4 ballistic missile, an advanced version of the earlier Poseidon SLBM. However, by now, all of these are armed with the superior Trident 2 D 5 ballistic missile. Trident 2 was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident 1. Trident 2 was put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident 1. The missile is 13.579 meters in length, 2.11 meters in diameter, and weighs in at 58 and a half tons. It's a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles, and Ohio class ballistic missile submarines carry 24 of these. Trident 2 is a multiple independently targetable re entry vehicle, MIRV missile. Each Trident 2 can carry up to 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W76 100 kiloton warheads. To give viewers a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. New START strategic arms reduction treaty between the United States and the Russian Federation agreed on having only eight warheads per missile, so currently each Trident II is armed with eight warheads. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio class submarine, which can be launched in less than a minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple eight, in other words, 192 nuclear warheads. This is enough to obliterate huge landmass. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. A credible, effective nuclear deterrent is essential to the national security of the U.S. Not only this, but U.S. is also, directly and indirectly, responsible for the security of many nations, including NATO members. Ballistic missile submarines are the cornerstone of America's nuclear posturing and will remain so for the foreseeable future. Viewers may note that the President of the United States can authorize a nuclear attack from fixed command centers, such as the White House Situation Room, or also through the nuclear football. The nuclear football is a briefcase that contains codes that can be used by the President of the United States to authorize a nuclear attack well away from fixed command centers. The President is always accompanied by a military aide carrying the football. In case an adversary undertakes a misadventure like uses nukes, the Ohio's will spring into action. The firepower is so immense that American rivals like Russia or China are wary of retribution from the Ohio's. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.